What is going on today? We have the developers behind the new token Fat Cake. Okay, I don't know. I have nothing. I don't know anything about this token, but I want to find out whether or not this is a project, a crypto project that is worth our time, our money, our investment, our energy. Uh, whether you or me can you know, trust these guys? Are these guys scamming us? Are they going to rug pull us? Or is it like a legit project with some legit people behind it? Uh, if you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin. I'm a brand new crypto investor, okay? I am not your financial advisor. I'm not your financial expert, okay? I have a little lizard brain, gorilla arms, and diamond hands exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency with a whole bunch of other cowboys. If you want to join us, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for any updated content. Give us a like button on this video if you want to help, you know, spread this platform, help other people, and if you, of course, if you're feeling generous. And of course, head into the saloon. That's to te the Telegram channel where we're always talking about new cryptocurrencies, uh, entry points, exit points, new market trends, all that kind of stuff. There's a whole bunch of bigger brain cowboys in there that you and I can always learn from. So we're, you're always invited. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing here, I am just searching the crypto universe right now for just some good projects to invest my time and money into. But like you, I'm doing research on YouTube and these YouTubers are just reading the dumb website, okay? I could do that, any any you know person can do that. But I wanted to know, okay, how is this applied? What's, what's the future here? Give me something, are these people someone I could trust? And so I came up with a win-win-win strategy and that's where I interview these developers. And these developers can now like kind of shine. They could like stand on their own project with energy. You could give me insights that I can't find on a website. And two, I get to be compensated and I get to ask these guys the hardest hitting questions that I could possibly find. And then the three, you and I win because we get the best information to decide whether or not this is a token that we could uh, invest our hard earned time and money into. And so if you're watching this video or listening to this podcast, we have the developers of Fat Cake on the hot, in the hot seat with us tonight. Justin, Devin, welcome to the hot seat. Hey, what's going on, guys? What? Glad to be here. Glad you guys are here. Glad you guys are stepping into the hot seat. And we're going to start right now. I'd like to get to know who you guys are before I get to even know what Fat Cake is about. Who are you guys? What's the background you guys bring? Maybe Justin, you go first, then Devin. So my background comes from many different aspects of business. I started with uh, building a real estate uh, business under my name in Texas. Uh, we worked on uh, foreclosures, selling houses, uh, appraising, valuing, uh, the whole nine yards, and then uh, branched out into physical therapy, which is what I actually went to school for. Um, had a personal name under that, um, started uh, to develop that business, uh, get some, some people under my uh, control, going to do what I would do hands-on. Um, so it's self-sustaining business. Um, and then branched out into the cannabis industry, actually, um, as far as the medicinal side, uh, the things that are there for health reasons and everything. Uh, so that kind of led me into cryptocurrency, if you believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> we, I was uh, investing just randomly by myself in cryptocurrency for a couple years and decided to take a look into it because... Of course, it is coming up hot and quick. Uh, so I had a few ideas of developing or integrating the my current businesses into cryptocurrency and just saw a need uh, and a vision that was bigger than everything I had before and, and kind of took the opportunity and here we are. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, you're coming from a real estate background, physical therapy, into cannabis, into crypto, which is which is great, and sounds like you're an entrepreneur a bit. Uh, Devin, how about yourself? Sure. Um, so, yeah, I'm Devin. I'm in Los Angeles. I've been in, I guess, like the startup world for probably since like my junior year in college, so over a decade. Um, I got into probably cryptocurrency. Around 2015, I want to say, I remember like my first buy of Ethereum at $10. So whatever year that was is how long I've been wow. in. <laughs> and in terms of like my background, business expertise, um, I've you know started 
a branding and fulfillment company. I was the CFO of that company for five years. I was the first employee of that company. I also started a makeup company with Jeffrey Sarr. Um, that was the first employee of that company, CFO, set up everything. And we kind of collabed in a way where we brought my branding and fulfillment company uh, together with Jeffrey Sarr's company. And uh, we kind of started building out different merch stores for people with, uh, you know, Kevin Hart, Ninja, Dan Bilzerian, uh, Dan, Danny Duncan, Van Halen, uh, and like a few other like influencers like Roy Purdy. Um, and like my company in a, in a way kind of like changed the game for influencers in general. And I say that because influencers used to sell different products, a coach bag or a perfume or whatever. And we kind of reached out to a lot of these people who never even had brandy or merch store and said, Hey, let's create your own identity. Let's create your own logo. Let's create a store. Let's, you know, you have such a huge following people are following because they like you, not necessarily because these products. Um, and yeah, we kind of like took that idea and it grew like wildfire and, yeah, I was there for about five years, and then I left at the end of last year because I'm starting a new cosmetic company with another influencer and a different branding and fulfillment store. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've been busy, and I'm kind of using all my connections and uh, that ability to grow a business and kind of bringing that to Fat Cake and helping out. Justin and all the ways that I know how. Awesome. So yeah, you have, ex looks like extensive marketing, branding and fulfillment, uh, more primarily in makeup, but you probably have it in all kinds of spheres of, yeah. uh, of, yeah. of, of uh, products and stuff like that. So that's great. And you're used to working with influencers. So I definitely see the connection here of what you bring to, to fat cake here. So Justin, how about you tell me what is fat cake about? Like what, what what's going on here? What is fat cake about? So my lifelong goal, everyone talks about it, influencers talk about it all day, is passive income. Nobody, everybody wants that passive income. So cake itself, everyone's familiar with cake, pancake swaps, native token. It's a very strong utility token. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. Um, so having that as the reward for holding fat cake just seemed to make sense um, as a long-term passive income source. Uh, so I had been in a few, quite a few reward tokens since they started coming out, um, uh, the native reward tokens, the unnative reward tokens, uh, and they all seem to have this similar flaw with maintaining volume. So the solution was to create a self-sustaining business that rewards the token holders in dividends from the profits of the business or the volume of the business without it having to go to a centralized company first. So okay. when we saw that opportunity to have that rewarding, um, that utility token as a reward, um, as well as integrate it with a sustaining business that, uh, that sustains the rewards for the token holders like a stock. If you were to invest into a company, uh, you're banking on that stock uh, earning dividends every year. Uh, the same thing, you should be able to have access to that in the decentralized finance world. And this is kind of what we created. Okay, so let me see if I could encapsulate that. You wanted to or earn passive income and you wanted to give that ability to other people. So anyone who holds fat cake is really an investor of another company and the that what the the better that company does that will then pay off more fat cake dividends rewards to all of the holders of fat cake, right? Absolutely. Every day. Got it. Okay. Every how often is that paid out? Just once a day, multiple times a day? It on low volume days as 
before the app rolls out, when there's just trading volume, which is normal to all of the other tokens, um, the rewards vary from about one hours to four hours, depending on how often the contract itself automatically swaps. Um, okay. However, we just uh, integrated today a claiming function on our D app that allows you to manually claim uh, your rewards early. So you have okay. that option of auto deposit or manual claim. Um, Okay. Yeah. So what is this app? What is this business then? What are we talking about here? So the app, uh, Fat Cakes app that powers the rewards is called Frosting Social. And Frosting... Frosting, Frosting Social. Yes, sir. Frosting Social okay. is a social media app that allows anybody to create a um, content page and become their own influencer and have their own audience that they can capital capitalize um, on their audience monthly to earn their own passive income aside from holding that token. Okay. The web, so the what website, kind of content are they creating? Is it like Twitter? Is it like TikTok? Yeah, just yeah, absolutely. Aaron, the, uh, Aaron, the website is frosting.social. If you want to check it okay. out, Frosting that social. It's just, yeah, right so now. So anyone who wants to visit that, yeah, visit Frosting that social. Yeah, right now it's just a landing yeah, page. So the... Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're onboarding emails for the for the launch of the app, but uh, the app is for everybody. It's open. It's family friendly. We wanted to make sure that it is available for everybody because it is just an insider access app. So. Um, Let's say crypto influencers want to capitalize on the 20,000 followers that they have rather than just selling promotions to tokens that they don't even know the credibility of. They're just wanting to make a paycheck. The, the solution to that is to allow them to be able to vet those tokens even more before they post because they're making passive income on the people who are wanting that information or their value that they're bringing. Uh, so from crypto influencers to yoga teachers with this pandemic everything is digital and online um, online classes are huge uh, expertise being sold is is the pretty much the wave right now so that allowing them a platform where they get to uh, retain a hundred percent of their uh, audiences uh, subscription fees it's it just gives the influencer okay. a ton of value so so say so I like how you said maybe a crypto influencer with say maybe 20,000 people. So I, I got what you're doing there. I am a crypto influ influencer apparently with 20,000. So I, I like that. I like the way you played me into that. Here's the thing. How 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 am I making money on frosting here? Yeah, are they paying monthly? Are they what's going on there? Yeah, so it's a monthly subscription uh, service. Gotcha. So you can set your own fees um, and each fee every month uh, will add to the volume of the token. So uh, for reference, a similar app or application that's currently out um, last year had over $4 billion in, re in volume uh, going through their app. And at a 10% rewards to the holders, $4 billion generates a lot of passive income for a lot of people. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, um, so you're saying this is like a paid monthly subscription for different influencers, and you said specifically it was family friendly. And I'll be honest with you, um, I, I first heard I was like, okay, maybe this might be like a, like a you know one of those other fan pages that you only want to pay for um, if you guys catch my drift. But how, why why choose to say family friendly and not say like more explicit content? What's the move here for that? Well, I, I, uh, I, I can the address this to... question. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So, like, I guess where we are seeing that opportunity and, like, if you when we're talking about these fan sites, well, like, right now, if you actually look at OnlyFans.com, it's, like, one of the popular sites where people sign up and it's basically people just taking off their clothes, and that's why people are there. And if you look at them and you take a critical look of like their Twitter and what they're trying to do or, and their other social networks is they're actually trying to escape from the model that they first started. Um, they're trying to include cooking classes. Uh, they're trying to include extreme sports. I've had conversations with a lot of high profile influencers who, you know, 
talked to OnlyFans and one of them, you know, OnlyFans wanted to pay them to be on their site, but they want nothing to do with it because it has a huge branding identity problem that they're trying to escape. And if you look at the crypto right. space as a whole, there's probably, you know, 20 or 30 other crypto companies trying to do exactly what OnlyFans does. And where we stand out and where we're different mm -hmm. is we're actually just trying to make a platform for all ages where, you know, people can get closer to the people uh, they enjoy following. They can learn new things. They can, you know, basically a all ages friendly platform to make you feel a little bit more connected uh, to, I guess, like their favorite people. And I, I think yeah. like that, that's where, where we stand out. And I think that's where we're going to make a difference in this space. That's really cool to hear because, um, yeah, I, I, I heard about this thing with OnlyFans, right? I heard that they're trying to escape that. And I saw, I always saw it as like a, this is a, you know, it, it obviously it makes more money, but for me, I personally don't want to associate anything with, I don't like anything to do with any of that. I think I'm, I think it has a very high floor, but a low ceiling as far as, um, you know, monetary expansion, right? Like mm -hmm. you, there, you could only go so far with that. Now, granted, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you you miss out on some big time influencers, and that space is already dominated by only fans. Why would you want to try to go up against them if a space like family friendly doesn't exist? I, and I, I agree with you guys. I think that's I think you're filling you're trying to fill a void here that is great. I don't know. I honestly, I've never even heard of any other cryptocurrency company trying to do this. So more power to you. Um, maybe another question for Devin. What's your plan to compete here? How, you, you said this is uh, there's. There's only like there's about twenty or thirty other people trying to do this or trying to do what OnlyFans is. Yeah. Uh, what What's the goal? I, you said you had a lot of connections with uh, influencers and stuff like that. I assume you're going to try to bring them in. Um, what's the goal to build out Frosting? Because I see if Frosting grows, then Fat Cake grows. You know what I'm saying? So w what's the plan there? Yeah, I mean the idea is to onboard a lot of these connections and high profile people that have been very hesitant to join a site like OnlyFans, like they see the value in it of getting a monthly subscription and being able to provide exclusive content. But if so-and-so joins some platform and that gets announced, everyone's going to be joining that expecting something entirely different than what they're getting. So the, our advantage is we're actually branding ourselves as an all ages type thing right out of the gate. And we're very upfront about that, that we're not just trying to be the nudie crypto platform that, you know, 20 or 30 other projects are doing. That's a very crowded yeah. space. So I think there is a lot of opportunity of onboarding people because they want to join something like this. They see the value. And we're also offering it in a nonprofit type way where they're not going to see any of the fees from their signups being taken away from them. So there is a lot of ways to grow and onboard these people just because of that market opportunity and also a lot of the names and the people that I talk to on a regular basis. You know, it's hitting me right now just how genius this is and i think it's hitting me because this is the this is really the first time i'm seeing maybe i'm i don't know what i'm doing but you are legitimately coming up with a like a legitimate app that could fill a void right now and you're tying it with like like you said stocks and dividends it's except it's a coin and so you, it's it's manipulatable it, it it's it's paid to you like a stock, but it's manipulatable like a currency. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think that's amazing. I think that's the, the future of what more companies will do, right? I mean, that only makes sense. Like you create a company, you create a business, you, you make money off of it, and then it pays out in crypto instead of stocks. Like who came up with that idea? <laughs> yep, that, was, that would be me. I will mm -hmm. take credit for that that's, one. <laughs> That that might that might be like I mean we have the we have the project right but the meta level of thinking with that that's interesting that's just really interesting yeah yeah okay so I'm sorry that's just my like I'm just like trying to I have a little lizard brain okay I'm slow to, I'm slow to uh, <laughs> no the, no the you got it here. you got the idea that was the complete that was a complete vision of being able to 
have a true investor owned currency and company that gives them the control. Gotcha. Gotcha. So let me, I have a couple questions here. They're smaller questions. What, why frosty? What, what's the meaning behind frosty here? So frosting is just the frosting on the cake. Uh, Going around the, the rewards tokens. <laughs> Don't overthink. I got it. Frosting on the cake. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. And um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, so if I if you were to paint me like the picture at the end of twenty twenty one here, what where do you guys see this combination of frosting and cake or fat cake rather? What do you see? Where do you see you guys yourselves at the end of Q four? At the end of Q four. We are going to be worldwide branding across all social media platforms, um, the same as the most recent uh, social media platform that became a huge hit worldwide. Their marketing uh, basically just picked the users from another social media. However, we are allowing the creators to integrate their current social media platforms all into our app with links to each one of them so that they could easily um, bring their users on board and just have that platform of that exclusive content. Gotcha. Now, if for, for frosting, um, so what's the, why wouldn't I as an influencer just go to like Instagram like stories or TikTok to show the behind the scenes. Help me to understand, and maybe someone who's watching this video, why an influencer would go would choose to create a sub, like fill up content in a subscription based model. Because creating content's a lot. I'm getting I'm creating like content on I got TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. You know what I mean? Like why another one other than the you know what what's what's the case here? How how do you how do you justify that in my brain? Do I shut down the other spaces where I'm filling in content or like what, if you were to give me the plan, like I'm joining frosting, right? What, what's the best way for me to use frosting? So this I think will the- allow you to uh, broadcast to all of those platforms at once as well to show oh. um, sneak peeks into your exclusive content and make it easy for the creators to broadcast rather than creating snippets for each one of those. Okay. So you're you're saying it's allowing me to broadcast to multiple streams at at one time. Absolutely. Huh. Huh. Okay. And so how would I use that? Like give me like say I'm Ariana Grande, you know, like I'm just, you know, more mannish and the same tan, right? <laughs> and uh now I'm a uh, what do I do with frosting? Do I go behind the scenes and I show and then that video gets streamed out to Twitter and then TikTok? Like, how does that work? Yeah, so you can just... And I know uh, there are different algorithms for each platform, platform, right? Absolutely. So it'll be um, at the press of a button, you'll be able to choose your clips that you want to send out or your posts. Um, So you get to pick and choose. It won't be automatic, uh, but it will be at the click of a button. Um, However, for musicians specifically that you brought that up, um, we were going to have, similarly to other platforms, a one-to-many uh, streaming on their page. So if musicians want to stream their studio sessions or a live concert from their house because of the pandemic, uh, just different ways to capitalize on their audience uh, that just wants that inside access anyway. They would pay for it. I got it. So you, So you're not a separate content where I pour content into. You're one of the, you're like a, you're like a springboard to where all the other, the content goes out at the same time. So I'm not going to different platforms and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that right? It'll, it'll have that integration. Yes. Oh, it'll have both. Okay. It'll have both. No problem. Okay. So, uh, have you guys launched frosting yet? It is coming in September. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. So yeah. So do you have beta, do you have beta testing out right now or are you just kind of, you know, yeah, yeah final, not out yet. finalizing the uh, all the functions right now. We are going to have an NFC marketplace integrated as well. A uh, couple different features that are going to to be pretty cool, but we're just finalizing those functions and um, the designs and everything. Beta testing should be out within one to two weeks. Okay, 
So NFT Marketplace too. You said you had a couple new features. What what are those features? Um, so being able to have that unlimited anonymous tipping. Uh, everyone knows that Twitch streamers get tipped quite hefty. Um, and having that anonymous tipping uh, function for users to stream video games as well uh, while charging mm -hmm. their users a subscription fee to view that. they can It can be a free subscription. They don't have to charge fees. Um, okay. Okay. But just having that there, allowing them to capitalize even more. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, uh, cool. I think I got sidetracked. It, see, <laughs> uh, it seems like you're holding something back here. Do Do you have any like secrets or any like secret weapons or like big like reveals that you're just sitting on? That's like okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let this we're gonna you know I don't, I can't tell anyone like any secrets that you can share with me like for the future of of, of, of fat cake and frosting. Devin, would you like this one? I mean, I think we're just gonna. Hold tight and not release everything. <laughs> as much as we love, come on, this is why you're here. As much as we love Aaron with the cowboy hat and hanging out with us <laughs> in the saloon, I don't know. I think we got to hold some stuff close to us right now. What's this? What's the smallest thing that you're holding? Not the biggest. Don't give me the biggest one. That that's so people can steal it. I don't want you. I don't want people to steal it from you. What's something that's small? Just throw a little nibble. A little, so the little thing to me. Our, our dashboard that we have currently um, is getting updates every every two days. Um, it's been quite oh, cool. quite incredible how fast we've been able to evolve it. But our utility function with our own token um, in our dashboard is going to have um, pools and farms to be able to gain even more rewards on. Ah, DeFi. Oh, yeah. It'll have the full cool. integration of DeFi. Um, we actually have our own exchange coming out this weekend that will have rug screening uh, functions automatically for the tokens that you're swapping to. So uh, you can have a little bit more confidence and safety. We have uh, quite a few little. So I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get the breadth of this whole operation here, guys. You're okay. Let me just kind of sum it up for people who are just following along. You've got this coin, this token, fat cake. And what I thought it was first, it, what you said, it's a way for people to earn passive income, plain and simple. Uh, the way you're going to do that is you're creating, it's not just reflect and reward tokens. It's actually, you're pairing it with an actual, uh, you know, functional app that fills an, a space, subscription model, family friendly in that space where, you know, what OnlyFans is trying to, you know, get rid of that stigma from themselves. And so you're just entering in with that, with that, um, that perception immediately uh and so as that platform grows and gets better uh, as people start to pay a portion of that i don't know how much but it does, doesn't matter it's irrelevant we could go read the website or whatever a portion of that gets dished back out to fat cake holders kind of like a stock now what you're looking to do is you're going to look for this branding and the and the and all you know the connections and bring on the influencers and, and all that uh, to build up that platform. Now, as that grows up and as the cake is getting dished out, the fat cake is getting dished out, you'll, there'll also be opportunities for DeFi. So like staking, swapping, some exchange, some, you know, you know uh, and all the above, right? All the above. Is that about, is that about the breadth of everything? At least all that you've told me? Yeah, just about. A full yeah, that's, of, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. How long, how big is your team? Currently about five solid people. Um, that would be everyday everyday people given their hard earned time and, and effort. Um, we have another four to five that are in the chat constantly uh, dealing with mm -hmm. the new newcomers, educating, uh, maintaining the, the status quo and allowing us to do our job behind the scenes. Devin and I are, are on the phone every day making connections and developing the uh, actual utility of the token and the reason why the investors are here uh, just having that balance of those people uh, being the face and then us being able to be behind the scenes growing it uh, one of the the biggest things that i i guess helped me was a quote that i heard that said uh, you either work in your business or on your business so we were uh, pretty adamant on it. yeah about separate you know i just realized too another part 
so you know how I said like the meta thought here is that like it's attaching like a stock to like a startup and it, it allows people to invest and all that kind of stuff and it helps that. But the other meta here is that now this offers an onboard, an on-ramp for people who are not currently invested in cryptocurrency to then get started in cryptocurrency for the first time. And for the first time they're earning, you know, your, your token, fat cake. So I, I could definitely see, so I could definitely see like some young influencer who doesn't know anything about, you know, crypto, he or she would be like, okay, yeah, I don't know anything about crypto. It's all complicated, but I do, I'm, I'm a, some kind of influencer. I do make content and I do understand a subscription model. And so now they're getting paid. Like it's a, it's like adoption, mass adoption. This is a, this is a way for mass adoption. Absolutely. And the function on the app will be to either be paid in fiat or in tokens. And the tokens, mm -hmm. if you were to choose that, will be auto compounding, earning you rewards on top of itself. Um, so it's just mm -hmm. another yeah, incentive course. for those users to be paid and use the tokens, um, which will in turn reward all the current holders and um, itself. So it's just a big cycle of um, an actual use case behind a rewards token. Of course, of course it would. Of course it would, because they own Fat Cake. I got it, guys. I got. It. I really. I. I, I appreciate the level of uh, the layers that are poured onto this. I really do. This makes sense. This makes all the sense in the world. I don't see why this business model wouldn't be used in many other businesses, honestly. And Devin, when you said like, my marketing company kind of, you know, switched up the game a little bit. Yeah, looks like you're doing it again. looks like it's, it's it, it, it makes sense to me, right? It doesn't make, yeah, this makes total sense. This makes total sense, guys. Cool, all right. So I'm gonna, I got two more questions here. Sure. Uh, is there anything left that you haven't talked to me about that's just that we haven't covered that's just like a fire in your belly that you, you want to get out? Yeah, I'd love to learn more about the saloon. What what was that about? <laughs> oh, the saloon. That's that we call that the that's just the telegram channel. Uh, so okay. the saloon is where yeah, yeah, we're just talking and and and, and trading tips and stuff like that yeah. in there. Sooner or later we're going to be introducing the uh the cowboy hide hideout. And so um, yeah, we'll, we'll be introducing that sooner or later and it, hopefully it's going to be helping a lot of people like you guys. I want to help, you know, you know, people, I've wanted passive income my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And I did never figured it out. I tried real estate. I suck at real estate. You know, I tried marketing, marketing with clients is terrible. I hate it. Right. I don't know. You might love it. I, I hate it. <laughs> so I've been a little bit in both of your guys' worlds. I found crypto and, uh, I absolutely love it. I'm excited. Uh, I'm happy about it. And I, I love, I love, uh, I love what you guys are doing here. I think um, building a community is probably like the biggest thing that I would think is a minor, though, because the, your community brings in is brought in with the influencers, so it's like a minor thing. Like you need to have like frosted heads or frosty flakes, you know, that's, those are your followers, <laughs> or, or you know, I don't know. Yeah, I think brand. that's uh, something that. But I'm not the marketing guy. You're the marketing guy. You know way more than me. <laughs> so is there anything yeah, else so that looks the... like about? Here's the ball dropper, I think, um, and I think it just needs to put put in perspective, um, just to kind of show people how easy it is. Um, so the app, uh, being a hundred percent reward to the creator uh, for all of their subscriptions. Let's say you have an audience of a hundred thousand people that constantly watch your your content. Um, let's say you onboard them, ten percent. So ten percent come to pay one dollar a month 10, to view your content ten thousand dollars in residual or passive income just like that yeah wait how does that work how do you how are you giving out a hundred percent because the volume the tax on the volume uh, adds to development and marketing uh, yeah. so we don't have to take anything from the creators so you're saying if I'm a creator and I get some person to pay me $10 or $1 subscription, I see 100% of that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh, the best way that I keep describing it is like, you know, you had that only fans part that no one wants to be a part of. And then you have this opposite world of YouTube that's completely free and you only get paid in advertising and anything else you can include in the video or if you're able to create merchandise in a sense so this kind of like combines both of those worlds um 
that allows the creators to generate revenue. They can also use it as like their VIP type lounge or club or whatever, release exclusive things, exclusive contents. You know, if you're a musician, you can do shows, you can give do giveaways to backstage, like backstage passes, all the stuff that you don't want to kind of like give out there for free. Um, you now have a way to do that to your most like loyal and big fans. That is brilliant. That's brilliant. I don't see what influencer wouldn't want to do that immediately. Absolutely. That's brilliant. What? Like <laughs> you get to, ch you get to make a hundred percent in nowhere in the sphere of apps or anything like that. Does that exist right now? There's always some kind of piece of the pie that's cut out. But I, I don't know how you're going to figure that out. And honestly, I don't need to know, right? I, it's like the little technical, you know, alien brains are working on that. <laughs> Whatever. You guys are developers, way bigger brains than I am. But I, I assume like it's through crypto. And like you said, it's good cutting out off the crypto and stuff like that. And it goes and a piece of that goes back. That is brilliant, guys. Yeah. That's amazing. So the tax, that's, the tax will be um, taken whenever you purchase the tokens or whenever you load your wallet. Um, so And then once the, you subscribe to your favorite creator all of that money that you click to subscribe is going straight to them um, and what really allowed me to do this true hundred percent everything all the profits of the business go back into the token holders and the creators what really allowed me to do this was being able to claim the token as a charity for the greater good of the people and um. The Frosting Inc., the legal business entity behind the uh, the token, is now classified as a nonprofit. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep, that makes sense because a lot of these other uh, or uh, blockchains are are nonprofits too. So, yeah, 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 that makes all the sense in the world, guys. I love it. That's awesome. If you're watching this video, uh, I I hope you see. Okay, that fat cake is, sounds like a good token. But that there's this like meta narrative behind it all, right? There's this like there's the there's the application, right? Then there's how it relates to that. Then it's this the space that it serves, which is like this family friendly subscription based model. So I could see a whole bunch of people who haven't gone to OnlyFans because for the reasons the stigma, they would they would need this spot, this this place. I could see this, you know, taking shots at Patreon, taking shots at like the YouTube membership, and the reason why I would, you know at least cut a heavy market share out is because it's a hundred percent back to the creator. Like it makes the, it makes so much sense guys. It makes so much sense. So again, do your own research. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a cowboy little, you know, look, I have a cat mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know anything. So you do your own research. You do, you go to frosting.social, you go check them out. Links, all the links are in the description. Um, look, before we close this out, guys, just thanks so much for, for watching or, or listening this far. Um, it, again, just check out their channel, check out their stuff. If you haven't already, give us a like on this video, help spread the word and all that kind of stuff and hit the subscribe button. Now, uh, last question, Justin and Devin, wh why in a, in, a, in a sphere, thousands and thousands of, of cryptocurrencies and maybe some cryptocurrencies that I don't even know about, but are trying to do something similar to you, why should we invest one more time in Fat Cake compared to the other guys? The team behind it. The community is amazing. The team is here every day to answer any questions. We're growing and developing with the community. Uh, if this is going to truly reward the community, the community should be heard. And we're here to hear those voices and to um, adjust because they, the community are the users and they should be able to have a say in it. Uh, they're seeing all the profits of it. They should be able to just make a, a few tweaks. So we're here gaining traction every day, making it better, uh, never satisfied and here for, for the greater good. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks so much for this interview. Thanks for us taking the time to uh, speak with me today. And if you're watching this video, do your own research. Okay. I'm not your financial advisor, even though if I get excited about a token, uh, it's on you. If you make money, it's on you. If you lose money, it's on you, not me. Anyway, Justin, Devin, thanks so much, and we will see you guys on the moon.